You think that you're possessed? Yeah. All right. Tell me how this started. Well, Mr. Midnight, this story starts in a magical land called PTPM Productions. A place where all blush characters created by Poplio the Blush Maker live in harmony, and they all work together to create YouTube videos. Poplio the Blush Maker is in charge. She does all the filming, the editing, she plans all the videos, she directs all the characters and stuff. So you work at a film studio? An indie film studio? Well, kind of, but it's like its own separate world entirely. Every plush character on this channel lives in harmony there, and all of them do stuff together. So it's like this world, but different. The, the fourth wall is completely gone, I can't find it anywhere. Like, everyone knows each other, and everyone knows they're part of a production. There's Meowth and Picky Pack, the Pika Games crew, I think, uh, the Yoshis. Actually, I think I saw someone who looked like you once, Mr. Midnight. Then, there's me. My name is Jean. Oh! Uh -huh. Hey, it's Mr. Annoying Pants! Everybody hates me. Why does everybody hate me? All I want to do is show them my memes and nobody cares. I mean, even the characters that people call nice don't like me. You want me to watch just this for five hours? Well, no, I don't want you to just watch it. You have to consume it, ingest it, let every color coming through this frog really suck its way into your oh, eyeballs. This feels so bright. Uh, uh, oh! Really understand why this frog is such an iconic. Uh, where did you go? Ow. Huh? Oh, come on! Was it really that painful? Yes. <laughs> Rude. So yeah, everybody hated me for no reason, and Poplio made videos about me being hated for no reason. Until one day, I snuck into the office, and I saw her sitting at a table with that red Yoshi guy, and talking about a video where she'd get comments from viewers on how to torture me, and she'd make them into videos. Well, if that's all part of the production, shouldn't it be staged? No, dude, it was gonna be, like, really painful with, like, actual effects and stuff. I mean, I got soaked in, like, real water! Real water! Can you believe it? So when I heard all that, I knew I had to hide. Ah! Uh, come on, does one of these drawers open? Oh, there we go. I can't find a place to hide. What do I do? I got it. Just gotta take this. And so I waited. And waited. And waited. You know, I didn't actually know what I was going to do at that point. Like, I didn't know how long I had to wait. I guess I just was going to come out eventually, but, uh, she found me. Uh, hi! My name is Paper Towel, and I'm supposed to be a meh. Well, yeah. This was a thing I wanted to do for a while. Well, better now than never! <laughs> and then... Oh, it pains me to speak of it, but I was tortured mercilessly. From having my drawings criticized, to having my one pride and joy put off the internet forever, to being soaked in water like I mentioned before, to being put in an insane asylum, to making it so all of my digital data tasted horrible and I couldn't even eat so I had to be plugged in later because I ran out of power. And worst of all, my precious movie. My precious emoji movie made a mockery in front of me. <laughs> and that broke me. In both places. Hmm, this looks like a good spot to take a selfie. But I don't own a phone. What should I do? I'll use my 3DS's camera! Hashtag nostalgia, am I right? Huh? Um... 
that stupid video Pablo was showing me before. Time to move on to greater pastures. Why am I not moving? Where are my legs? Somebody help me! I'm falling and I can't get up! Calm down, scary cat. a lot better. that weird baby show <laughs> This is why I need a vessel to possess. A <laughs> one now? Well, you could just call me a burnt out of tail. See, kid, I used to be feared. I could corrupt video games as I could Corrupt characters, I could corrupt any character that you can think of. I could warp their minds and turn them into mutant abominations. And any fan of cartoons or video games would fear. People would write stories about me, talk to about me on the playground, say, Oh, I sure hope the XC doesn't come visit my house tonight. But as it always does, the internet has moved on from me. And now I'm just a withered shell of my former self. You know, kind of like your movie, your Gene from the Emoji Movie, right? Yup, that's me! My name is Gene, and I'm supposed to be a man. Wait a minute, did you just call my movie outdated? That, that, that's not true! People are still talking about me, like, all the time! I swear! To go for Metacritic. The Emoji Movie released in 2017 to widespread backlash due to- Those critic guys are stupid! Well, if that's really how you feel, then you can show them all with my power. Just let me corrupt your mind. You'll become all-powerful. No thanks, I don't feel like it, bye. You do, you do realize, realize I'm all-powerful all and I'm going, going to do it to you anyway, anyway right? right? All-powerful, small-powerful. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just here for the me- <laughs> <laughs> And that's how... Gene.exe was born. Pichu, I'm done with the Gene torture video. Do you want to film some Pichu's quit? Huh? No! Now, I finally had the power to stand up to Pablio's reign of tyranny. You and your nasty creations have mistreated me, tormented me, and taken my beloved dreams and thrown them in a recycling bin for far too long. And today, it comes to the end. Because I am no longer Jean. I am... Jean EXE! And somehow I still lost. Very quickly. Why does life hate me like this? No! I can't believe this! Even with all of that power, I still couldn't defeat Poplio! Why does this always happen? Why does my life have to be so unfair? What? Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> what just happened? Kid. Huh? Hey, kid. Uh, who's that? Remember, it's me, Daddy XC. Oh, yeah! 
Hey, EXE, why didn't your stupid powers work against Poplio? I mean, I thought you were supposed to be, like, all-powerful or something like that. Well, it might have to do with the fact that you thought it was a good idea to go up against your creator. What difference does that make? Well, they created you. Yeah, no duh. Well, they created you, and because of that, you can't defeat them. They always have power over you. That's unfair. Yeah, it is pretty unfair. Don't you wish that you could just take control and take their power for yourself? Mm-hmm. Well, I can help you do that. I brought you into the character's world for a reason, Jean. You have control here, at least as much control as I can give you anyway. I've analyzed the history of Poplio's entire channel so I can guide you. Somewhere in this town, there's a character who knows a thing or two about releasing possessions. I want you to take, take me, me to, them. to them. Get them to release me so I can execute my plan. And uh, I just remembered that was you, so yeah, that's why I'm here. Okay, so your story is pretty bizarre, but I get the idea. You want me to be able to safely release the demon that's possessing you, correct? Well, if that means letting them loose, then yeah. Well, I should be able to do that with... Wait, what? You heard me, right? By the way, I'm getting impatient. I told you my whole story. When are you actually going to get to the releasing stuff? I can't... You said you came to me just to release a possession. Oh yeah, that's what he told me to say so you would talk to me in the first place. <laughs> and now he's screaming in agony at you. I think. Why are you shaking? Um... Well, sir, I can most certainly help you with that. Just stay right there and let me go get my supplies from my desk. Okay, thank you! Spirit, we have a code 666. <coughs> well, that was easy, wasn't it, EXE? You fool. Hey, what are you calling me stupid for? I did everything you asked! Now Mr. Midnight is going to set you free! What are you complaining about? Oh, there he is right now. Hello, Mr. Midnight! I don't see any kind of possession on him, do you? Yeah. I don't even see his soul. That, that's weird. Oh no, did we just kill him? Thank you.